Hey, it's Justin Kanoi, a DJ, business coach, and idea sharer, and I'm sharing a suggestion on organizing music within DJ software. And this tip is relevant regardless of which software you use, but since I use Virtual DJ, all of the filters and steps I'm gonna be going through will be shown using Virtual DJ. So I guess this also makes this a Virtual DJ quick tip as well. So we should probably roll the open. When it comes to organizing music files, there's not one right answer. How you organize should be a result of what works for you. But I do find it helpful to see how other DJs organize and I'll sometimes implement other DJ strategies into my own. So perhaps how I do it might give you a few ideas. And this becomes even more important when you begin to acquire music from multiple sources, especially if you have subscriptions to various record pools in addition to downloading single tracks and albums from online music stores like iTunes or Amazon. In a video that I posted previously, I showed how I organize my music files within my computer's hard drive. One way that I keep things sorted out is by making separate folders for my different download sources. I find this helpful because the reason I subscribe to multiple pools is not only to have an access to a wide variety of music, but to have access to a specific type of music and remixes. When I'm DJing, there are many factors that are going through my head when I'm thinking of what to play next. At certain events, I might want to play a specific type of remix that I know I obtained from a specific music pool. So I'll look in that pools folder within Virtual DJ to give some ideas and options of what to play next. Having music sorted by download pool makes it easy and quick to find a track from that download pool. And the easiest way to get this sorted out is by using filter folders within Virtual DJ. Here are three record pools that I've had subscriptions to in the past, DJ City, DMS, and Headliners. I created filter folders for each one of them, and to do so, it is just as easy as creating a new filter folder and typing in that folder criteria, album is DJ City. Now, of course, this only works if the files are correctly tagged. So anytime I download new files from a record pool, I always run it through my tagging software. And one of the first things I do is put the name of the service in the album field. Now back in a virtual DJ, you can see I created filter folders for DMS and headliners by creating a similar filter script. And just to keep things a little cleaner, I made a folder to house those three filter folders. I've also instituted a similar system for my select mix downloads. And of course I do this with promo only, but it's on a much hyper level of organization for instance, by genre and top hits by year. And lastly, yes, even iTunes, Amazon, and other online stores can be considered music download pools. While I don't have separate folders for those single downloads, I did create a rips and downloads folder to collect my single song CD rips and those one-off downloads from sources like Amazon and iTunes. These tend to be songs that I either could not find on a DJ pool or the one or two hit songs from CD in my personal collection. Sometimes I'm just looking for a random song during dinner or a cocktail hour and I'll think, I wonder if there's something from my CD collection that would work. And then I'll look into my rips and downloads folder and I'll see something like Martin Page, House of Stone and Light and I'll think, oh, this will work perfect. So organizing by download pool, just one of the many ways to organize your music within Virtual DJ or your software of choice. If you found value in this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more Virtual DJ tips just like this. Thank you for watching. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya, and I'll see you next time online.